Hello, good morning. Let's start with the session. Okay, so yesterday we have seen uh, yesterday we have seen the programs or for loop. So initially, what is the for loop syntax? For initialization condition uh, sum of uh, even numbers. Okay, so here people see here. So initially, so for uh, only. Uh, we can give any numbers here. So I'm just giving zero uh, to five. Okay. So initially, <coughs> what is the I value? Zero. Okay. What is some value? Zero. So uh, condition got true. And what is the sum value now? Zero only. Yes or no? So why? Because what? Sum equal to sum plus i. Sum plus what is the I value initially? Zero. Sum is zero. Okay. Now what will happen? So now I value will increment by two. So what is the I value in, uh, initially zero plus now plus two equal to two now. Okay, two. Now just check the condition two less than equal to five. Condition is what true. So now what you will do? What is the sum, sum equal to what? Sum plus I. What is the sum value? Zero. What is the I value? Two. Okay, sum equal to what? Two now. Okay, so now again, i equal to i plus 2. What is the i value now? 2. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 less than 5. Right? Is that correct? Yes or no? So now sum equal to sum plus i. What is the i value? 4. What is the sum value? 2. So equals to 6 now. Okay, now what is the i value? 4. Okay. So four, so what is uh, I equal to I plus two? Four plus two equal to six. Six less than equals to five. No condition got failed. Now what is the sum value now? Six. Yes or no? Guys, able to follow me? Okay, just I'm um, uh, so see, we got the output, yes or no? <clears throat> so, uh, are you guys uh, clear with this? So clear, right? Yes. So so uh, you guys are able to follow this one and uh, able to guard the output. So yesterday people practiced. Anyone have questions or queries? So no one is asking me any doubt nowadays. On programs, especially. OK, so see. So if people are active, then I will show one beautiful program with you guys. OK, just see this. Okay, note down the program. Uh, calculate sum sum of even numbers using for loop.
So all done. Okay, so can I move? So uh, the same program we will see with odd numbers. Same program. Just the condition will change, that's it. Okay, just see this. This is the sum. So if people know the logic, right? So no doubt. Sir, yes, sir. Hello. You are unable to see my screen. Um, screen ka aapne bhi answer karna. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is what the program. For, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Some of uh, odd numbers using per loop. Okay. You, you people know the logic, right? So I'm not explaining. So you can write down the program. Just try. So. Yes, um, so are you guys clear with the programming? So you got some idea. So wait for two minutes uh, for your replies. Now tell me, how is this one? So are you feeling comfortable with .NET now? Only Akash is clear. Okay, only 10, 15 people. Ankit. Okay. Okay. Balaji, Jyoti, you came yesterday only, I know that, Krishna, Shivraj, Sopna, T. Divya, Okay. 
ओके सो विल एक्सप्लेन so initially we kept sum equal to 0 okay so initial i equal to 1 i less than equal to 5 i equal to i plus 2 so we are calculating the sum so now people see here so initially sum equal to what uh, so i equals to what i equals to 1 i equals to 1 okay so now here check the condition one less than equals to five condition is true right so now what we will do sum equal to sum plus i that means initially what is the sum value here zero plus what is the i value one what is the sum now one okay now i equal to i plus 2 increment is uh, we are doing increment so what is i equals to i plus 2 here means so what is the i value 1 so no increment by 2 so what is the i value now 3 okay again 3 less than equals to 5 condition true okay what is the sum value now sum equals to sum sum plus what i okay what is the sum value now here what is the sum value one one plus what is the i value now three so what is the sum value now four okay so now again so now what is happening here again i equal to i plus two i equal to i plus 2 so what is the i value 3 plus 2 okay condition true again what is the sum value sum plus i what is the sum value 4 plus what is the i value 5 equals to what 9 now i value will increment so what is the i value 5 5 plus 2 7 7 less than equal to 5 condition failed it will come out of the loop and it will display the sum out that's it okay okay so we'll move to our next topic we'll move to our next topic arrays So, sir, can, can you please turn off your video?
see kiran sivaraj if the topic is needs different concept we'll see that is in structures concept it will come <clears throat> okay so uh, we'll just go to uh, the brief overview of arrays so now uh, we are performing uh, some operation uh, so sushri can you please turn off your video okay thank you so see uh, so uh, now we performed some operation so what we are doing there tell me int a equals to 20 comma b equals to 30 comma c okay c equal to what we are doing a plus b we are doing right so uh, in the variable a how many values we can store tell me only one value can't we store more than one value in variable a no correct 100 percent correct so uh so this is what uh, this is what happening with our variables so yes if we want to store more than one value in a single variable what is that more than one value in single variable so what should we do now for for achieving this one so then we are going for a concept called arrays what's that arrays concept so what is an array so array means if we want to store more than one value in a single variable of same data type. What is that? Of same data type. So that means, that means, so for example, if I'm keeping F5, that means, so that should be of same data type. So we can store in a variable of five values. Okay of only same data type that is what integer only okay so you people may know right in our c, c language we have seen this concept but if you, we have structures concept uh, there what will happen we can have multiple data types so that's what for each loop you are asking uh, there it will come like we have stack queue uh, what is that uh, sorted list and so many things are there there i will explain for each okay so this is what array so we need to remember some points about array so see we always needs to give specify the size here okay so linked list and all not required okay so uh af5 or something we need to specify size but array index always start with zero what is that 
array index always starts with zero and end with, ends with anyone think logical and tell me size minus one what is that size minus one so see if we have we need only five elements here it started from where a of zero why because array index always start so after that which element will come a of one will come yes or no so now after that what will come a of two will come yes or no after that what will come a of three will three will come after that a of four will come now count this one one two three four five right so we declare for five and we are using five that's it okay so by using arrays we can perform searching and sorting operations easily okay so this is what uh, the main points related to array just we'll see the book so we have different types of arrays single dimensional array multi dimensional array and jagged array so jagged array uh, we don't need so these two are enough okay so uh, we can remove this also but fine so we will keep that but anyway these two are enough so in real time or something we will use these two only okay so just we'll see array is a collection of homogeneous data items basically we have three types of arrays by using array we can easily perform searching and sorting we can store more than one value temporarily array is user defined data type which is used to store multiple values of single variable of same data type okay got it so array index always start with zero and end with size minus one okay so so here array values will be assigned based upon the index only okay so this is what array so can i explain one more time is that fine anyone have questions so again i will explain so in normal traditional variables here so we cannot store more than one value in a single variable so if you want to store more than one value at a time more than one value at a time in a single variable then we are going for a concept called array array so the purpose of array we can store more than one value of single variable of same of same data type okay so array index always start with zero and end with size minus one okay so this is how we will declare the array values okay so now i will give you the syntax for declaring array Okay, so so see the syntax for declaring array is data type the square bracket array name you can give any name here like variable name your name my name anything we can give equal to new data type of size so simple if i give an integer an example integer the square bracket what is this s here array name equal to new data type that means new what what is the data type here the same one data type of size so how many elements you want to keep you need to keep here okay so this is what the syntax of declaring an array so, so can you people repeat so data type array name equal to new data type of size what is that can you people repeat so data type array name equals to new data type of size 
so so when i'm asking people to repeat maybe people are muted but still if you people repeat uh, with me so that will help you uh, in learning quickly and uh, remembering uh, quickly so that will help you guys uh, uh, you know uh, for uh, better understanding also okay so can you people repeat with me so data type data array data name data. equal to mm-hmm. new, new data, data type data of data. size Science. okay so this is what the syntax for declaring an array so data type array name equal to new data type of size okay so here i have given data type as what integer array name equal to new data type of size okay so got it any questions here sir uh, what is the square bracket what is the square bracket is there no Up, up to data type. So what is the square bracket means? Square bracket only man. What I will tell about this? It's normal it bracket. Is... This is syntax. Okay, okay, sir. So we always error representation is like this. Error represented with the square brackets. So square brackets means normal square brackets only. In your uh, keyboard, yes. we have square brackets, right? This one. Yeah, yes, yes. That one. Okay. So uh, this is what uh, array. So what you will do? Uh, I think it's better if you take these points. I think this is enough. Okay, just note on uh, whatever we have in Notepad. So we can assign array values in two ways. We can assign like this individually, or we can assign 
like this also okay we'll see couple of examples for that but just note down semicolon is mandatory for any any uh, in dot net each and everything uh, will ends with a semicolon only If, if it is done please tell me so that uh, we'll go for programming so we have one beautiful program with arrays you know uh, this more supermarket program so how you will go when you go for more supermarket or uh, this dmart or something they are generating bill and they are giving bill right that program uh, we we are going to do that on our own so here i don't know how many people will join in our next class maybe mostly we'll discuss that in our next class all the people 80% 90% people will get errors in that program if anyone if practice that but that program will set an example for you guys and that will from that program you people will learn so many things trust me so so many errors so many things so many all the concepts will be covered for loop if condition everything all the concepts whatever we have discussed till today all the most of the concepts will cover there but if people practice that then uh, you will get so much idea also okay so done right everyone can i move to program yes okay so single dimensional array sum of given array simple array to display values array to display names okay so this three are uh, uh, this one so what we will do we'll keep 1d so that one dimension so these are programs i only wrote i only practiced on my own so don't think i copied from somewhere or something okay so first one is what okay display names so display values one dimensional array this one okay this is the one and values this one will go easy one after that we'll go for names after that we'll go for the second syntax okay so people see here simple what is the syntax for declaring data type this square brackets array name equal to new data type of size and i'm assigning values here so initially the array index started with 0 and ended with what size minus 1 so that's what we are doing here okay okay so people see here after that what so we need to display all the array values so here see uh, here what we kept for int i equal to 0 i less than equal to 4 i plus plus so console dot right line s yes of i okay so why we kept i we need to 
So once in single variable, we are storing multiple values. That's why we kept what I here. So initially, initially how this output will print means initially. So first this for loop will let right now. What is the I value? Zero. Zero less than equal to four. Yes or no? Condition true or false? True. So yes of zero. Yes of zero. So S of 0, what is S of 0? 101. So it will print. Okay. Now, what will happen? What will happen? So I plus plus will happen. I equal to I plus 1. Okay. That means initially what is the I value? 0 plus 1. So 1 less than equals to 4 or you can keep here five also you can keep that is what our index value just remove this one okay so one less than equal to four condition true now what will happen yes of one so what is yes of one here one not two okay similarly all the can all the loop will iterate and finally it will display the yes up to yes of four so is that clear? So just check the output. See, we are displaying, we are using only one variable and we are storing multiple values of same data type. This is what I raise. Okay, just note down. So we'll give, we'll see a few more problems, make it fast. So we'll try to complete single dimensional today. So uh, from Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, we are going to start with our OOPS concept. So uh, I request everyone uh, should uh, join the class without uh, any fail, without fail. So uh, if someone is missing, so see, uh, you will lose so many things. So OOPS is the most important thing. So whatever we learn till today, they are all, you know, uh, just like, uh, you know, basics only. done okay so we'll move for another program so the same program will uh, go with uh, you know some string values okay so now uh, we'll give some names here from the class swaraj uh, Vasim and Sneha and Wales. Dibia hmm. and with that lucky person. Our admin. So harsh. Okay. 
ओके सो जस्ट सो सिंपल प्रीवियसली वी आर स्टोरिंग इंटीजर्स वी आर स्टोरिंग स्ट्रिंग वैल्यूज ओके एंड वी आर रेटरेटिंग द फॉर लूप एंड वी आर जस्ट चेकिंग द आउटपुट दैट्स इट ओके सो वी आर गेटिंग द आउटपुट जस्ट नोट डाउन सो वाट इज द सिंटेक्स इयर डाटा टाइप एर ए नेम इक्वल टू न्यू डाटा टाइप ऑफ साइज सो ऑलवेज साइज एर ए इंडेक्स विल स्टार्ट विथ वाट जीरो एंड एंड विथ वाट साइज माइनस वन सो दिस इज वाट इंडेक्स सो आल द एर एलिमेंट्स विल बी असइंड आर ऐडेंटिफाइड बै यूजिंग इंडेक्स ओन so i don't give uh, this programs in our book see for example if i give this program then you people will simply copy paste and uh, uh, people will uh, get the output because we were vishwas or knows uh, this array concept that's why uh, when you people copy and paste there you will get the output okay but uh, uh, i want you people to practice and you people should get the output then only people uh, will get errors then only people will learn something from this one so uh, that's why our c sharp book consists of how many pages 80 pages only but if i add all these programs here whatever we have in, in this uh, folder see so this oops consists we counted that time 50 programs so this arrays we have seven so uh, this uh, loops so we have uh, some 10 programs more than 10 only for loop only six uh, five six programs okay almost you know uh, almost 100 more pro 100 to 150 programs are there if you if i add them uh, so roughly we can get 100 more pages so then what will happen our book will also have what 180 180 to uh, 200 pages will come okay so but uh, so now what will happen so because of less number of pages the people will get interest the people will uh, uh, get respect towards that subject and you people will learn easily okay that's what i feel that's why i did not give those programs in our book so simple what you will do uh, you will go to our book and you will copy this program and you will paste here then what will happen so simply uh, of course your wishes are wrote this program well that's why you will when you press f you will get the output agree with me so as ni whatever required i will definitely cover everything so when you go when you go for job or when you are doing some practice and programs and something at that time you can easily sustain in real time or something so trust me on that i will take care okay done so everyone so can we move to next program what is that why we are writing int in for 18th line 18 so i will remove this int balaji then you only will realize so now tell me what is the data type for this integer now i doesn't exist so how can you use one variable without declaring okay so whenever if you want to use one variable you need to declare so you can declare above that for loop or but see this index this index always always like integer only so array index started from 0 and ended with size minus 1 so this size is integer only okay got it okay sir sir if hmm. uh, if we don't go for for loop so how can we uh, execute the string sir so then you you will print you are able to print only one value or uh, you need to write this console dot write line for five times right and so 
that's why we are so that's why we are all going for what for loop Yes. Okay. So he is asking, what will happen if we don't assign value? So for us to, I'm not assigning any value here. Just see now what will happen. So it is giving empty. Okay. So uh, now, so we got the output right. Same like the previous program. Uh, correct zero uh, zero for integer true so uh, see uh, this is a bad way of programming so that so instead see for example if we have 100 uh, 100 if you have size of 100 then what will happen so you need to 100 you need to write 100 times that's why we are going for what for loop concept okay Okay, we'll see the sum. <clears throat> okay, so simple. Just like our for loop, but here what we are doing, we are simply uh giving the arrays so, so so see initially what will happen sum is zero zero plus s of zero after that what s of one s of s of two s of three s of four so r will be added we will get the sum here okay just see the output we got the output Okay, write a program to calculate sum using array and for loop. Done. So can we move to other program? See, we can we can give any values. So it's up to us. We do so why we need to give one at one, one at two, one at three, one at four, one at five, like that. 
we can give any values that's why so guys uh, today i'm coming to lab at 10 30 am in hyderabad so people whoever is available in hyderabad just come to lab so that is at reliance rush building in uh, sr amir pet so if anyone don't know just call me on my number or you can uh, connect with our admin hari prasad or you can connect with uh, you know uh, our uh, narashati deception so they there uh, those people will guide you or help you okay so i will be available for 2 3 hours and i will help you guys if you have any errors in any program okay so your other friends also will come uh, like uh, other batch 730 to 9 uh, people will come so uh, so those who are available in hyderabad just try to come utilize that opportunity that's it that's what i feel okay and uh, we'll see uh, single dimensional array last program so the other way of syntax this one so there is nothing different here we are manually we are giving there we will give the all the values at a time that's it so see so here what is happening uh, see here we are not keeping any equals to here no no comma here nothing so simply space and after that give the values and keep a space here uh, the semicolon here that's it and what will happen so what however we have written our last time program the same like that only see this is sf0 sf1 sf2 sf3 sf4 so here also it will display the same way okay so no need to mention the size here so see we are getting the output okay so randomly it will take the size from here itself okay just note down the problem so uh, can you people raise your hands who are all coming to lab today martin only one to see uh, if people uh, i don't know how many people are available in hyderabad but definitely uh, that will help you guys in uh, uh, better programming so if you people see from that batch so some 100 people are there almost some 60 people will come to lab last time also when i conducted the lab almost some 60 people came see uh, if you raise your hand then only i will came to know uh, so even uh, i can tell them to block that many seats or something that's why i'm asking so only three people so uh, i request you guys to bring your laptops if you have if you don't have there we will have systems but uh, mostly try to bring your own laptop so that uh, you don't need to wait for someone or you don't need to uh, uh, i mean look for other laptops or something okay okay so only three people so sandeep are coming sandeep one more person is there right your sister okay gayatri is coming gayatri one more person your sister i think arna she is not coming no sir ask her to come if she has time okay sir so anyone else from so now raise your hands who are from hyderabad so can down your hands three people Hmm. Now, Rajiv or Ants who are staying in this Hyderabad, Amir Pet, Asar Nagar, Kokat Pally. So at least these three people, right? One person only raised. So whoever raised now. 
they are defaulters here. So, Sandhya, you are not from Hyderabad. Okay. So, even we will plan for one virtual lab also here. So, Sandhya, then uh, why you are not coming to lab? Wasim, why you are not coming to lab? So, you people need to utilize, man. Uh, then, madam, uh, 10 30 to, to, to make some free time for today. Only for today, right? So, uh, why you are not coming? So try, man, you have uh, three and a half hours time still the same. So simple. I don't get anything. If you are coming to lab, your issues will be solved. And you know, uh, you can easily understand the programs. If you did not practice, I will help you guys. That's why I'm asking you to come. Not more than that. I don't get anything, right? So, Swashni, come. Sandhya, you also come. Vasim, you also come. So, anyway, Suresh uh, and other two, um, Gayatri and uh, Suresh uh, will come. Okay. So, uh, I want whoever is there available in Hyderabad, the people uh, try to come to lab today. So, done with the programming. So, we will also plan for some virtual uh, lab. Uh, like So, we will give one or two, one session or two sessions for uh, complete lab here so that people can practice and uh, people can ask me doubts here also uh, maybe not know later okay any questions so done with the program fine no Okay, so fine then. Uh, thanks all for joining. We'll meet again on Monday. So we'll see. So uh, I will wait for you guys in the app.